Canon Jarrus, born Caleb Doom, was a Force-sensitive human male Jedi Knight who survived Order 66 during the Clone Wars. Living on thanks to the sacrifice of his master, Depa Balaba, on Kalar, he met the smuggler Janus Kazmir, who taught him how to survive as a fugitive. Going into hiding, he forsook the Jedi ways for some time, swapping his blue-bladed lightsaber for a blaster. After working with the Twi'lek rebel operative Hera Syndulla during the Gorse conflict, Jarrus decided to join her nascent rebel cell. As Syndulla's second-in-command, the two came to develop a romantic relationship. After the Force-sensitive teenager Ezra Bridger joined the Spectres, Jarrus became his Jedi mentor, despite still being a Padawan. After defeating the Grand Inquisitor in combat, Jarrus and his fellow rebels learned they were part of a larger rebellion and joined Phoenix Cell. During a mission to Malachor, Jarrus was blinded by the former Sith Lord Maul. After months of retreat, Jarrus restored his connection to the Force and repaired his frayed relationship with Bridger with the help of a mysterious being called Bendu, who taught him to see things through the Force. The reinvigorated Jarrus and his fellow rebels continued to fight various adversaries, including Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn and Maul, who sought to corrupt Bridger and destroy Obi-Wan Kenobi, the key to destroying the Sith. Regaining his confidence, Jarrus also taught the Mandalorian rebel Sabine Wren how to wield the Darksaber and helped her to rally the Mandalorians over to the rebel cause. As the rebel alliance escalated its struggle with the Empire, Kanan and his fellow rebels returned to Freelothal, a world which they had a special connection with. Jarrus eventually met his death on Lothal around the year of the Battle of Yavin, during the rescue of Hera Syndulla after Governor Arinda Price ordered her walker to fire on the fuel pod they were on sacrificing himself to allow his fellow rebels to escape. Following Jarrus's death, he became a part of the Cosmic Force, manifesting as a huge Lothwolf named Doom, which appeared to Ezra several times. Later, Hera gave birth to their son, whom she named Jason. Over three and a half decades after his death, the voices of Jarrus and many other great Jedi, including his friend Ahsoka Tano, were heard by and encouraged the last living Jedi, the young aspirant Rey, to use their power to destroy Darth Sidious, the returned emperor and her grandfather, during the Battle of Exegol. Kanan Jarrus had some skill in Form 3 due to his training under Depa Balaba, who was a master of the style and emphasized its use in close-quarter fighting. The Inquisitor noted Jarrus favored the style to a ridiculous degree. During his third duel with the Inquisitor, Jarrus's skill had improved with practice, something the Inquisitor acknowledged. In addition to Form 3, Jarrus possessed skill in Form 5, which he demonstrated on numerous occasions, to deflect blaster fire effectively. He also showed some preference for the reverse grip. Alongside Form 3 and Form 5, Kanan demonstrated skill in Jarkai. Not only was he capable of engaging opponents with two lightsabers, he also on occasion combined his lightsaber skills with close-quarters gunslinging. In his final duel with the Inquisitor, where he used Ezra's hybrid lightsaber in addition to his own, he demonstrated enough mastery of Jarkai to defeat the Jedi Hunter. Ezra later used the same maneuver Kanan himself used against the Grand Inquisitor in a sparring session, with Kanan himself pointing out that it was his move. When he trained Sabine on lightsaber combat, he adopted a one-handed fighting method similar to that of the Grand Inquisitor. While Kanan was skilled enough to hold off the seventh sister and the fifth brother in combat, he still was unable to beat them. Nor could he hope to defeat the likes of a Sith Lord, though he managed to hold a saber lock with Darth Vader for approximately 10 seconds. Despite being blind, he was still able to spar with Sabine in a lightsaber training session. Later, the blinded Kanan used the Force to guide him as he used his lightsaber to cut off the legs of an AT-AT walker. Despite Kanan's lightsaber skills, he was outmatched by the Trandoshan Foreman Proach, who wielded an Electro Whip. During his brief duel with Rook, who wielded an Electrostaff, Kanan was disarmed and ended up resorting to his Force prowess to defeat Rook. Jarrus showed skill in telekinesis, such as pinning the Inquisitor to the ceiling or pulling stormtroopers in before clotheslining them, as well as pushing objects and multiple people and even restraining and holding people back for a time. However, many of these feats required great effort or concentration on his part, which he would compensate for by using the Force in tandem with his apprentice, Ezra Bridger. On one occasion, they were able to send Darth Vader himself flying into the path of a collapsing walker with their combined force powers, though Vader was not paying any attention to them at the time. 
Later in his life, he achieved considerably greater mastery of telekinesis and was at one point able to suspend a huge piece of rock to allow Rex and Guerrera to cross a chasm on Geonosis without significant fatigue and even followed through with a powerful long-distance force-enhanced jump. In his final moments, he created a barrier of energy to hold back a massive explosion from an Imperial fuel tank long enough for his family to escape. While holding back the explosion, he levitated and pushed Hera into a commandeered patrol gunship to prevent her from intervening. He then used all of his remaining strength to push the entire ship away from the explosion, which was then released from its confinement, killing him. Jarrus's sense allowed him to perceive certain events and even other Force users, such as when he first felt Ezra Bridger's presence on Lothal, when he felt Luminara Unduli's presence on Stygian Prime, and when he sensed the Lothwolves' deep connection to the Force. Jarrus also demonstrated an affinity for influencing animals through the Force, as he did with a Lothcat in one of Bridger's lessons, and later to control several Fearnox alongside his apprentice. Jarrus could also perform Force Jump, such as when he escaped Agent Callus, or when he leapt to slice the left legs of a walker, as well as mind tricks. Through his master, Caleb Doom was able to receive Force Visions, such as when he witnessed the Jedi's destruction. Kanan was able to use his Force powers to hold on to Fen Rao's Fang Fighter despite the Mandalorian Protector's best efforts to shake him off. When Kanan was blinded by Maul during his mission to Malachor, he used the Force to improve his senses and determine where Maul was so he could fight him. Under the tutelage of the Bendu, Kanan learned to see through the Force despite his physical blindness. Through the Force, the blinded Kanan was able to accomplish feats including surviving being ejected into space, fighting Imperial troops and battle droids alike, using the Force to deflect a rocket towards an Imperial walker, and jumping onto the front armor plate of a fast-moving speeder bike. Due to his Force powers, Kanan was able to interact with Force-sensitive creatures such as the mythical Lothwolves of Lothal. He sensed that the creatures were connected to Lothal through the Force and were trying to warn the rebels that the Empire was doing something malevolent to Lothal. His sudden display of seemingly unnatural power with the Force, as well as his blind eyes returning to normal, appeared to be due to his interactions with the spiritual Lothwolves. Jarrus was a capable pilot, though he recognized that Hera Syndulla was much better than him in this aspect. He also knew how to swim and was very accurate with the use of firearms, favoring a DL-18 blaster pistol, a gunslinger's weapon, much of the time, since drawing his lightsaber would attract Imperial attention. He also showed great skill in hand-to-hand -hand combat as shown on their mission to Stygian Prime. Jarrus easily disarmed and knocked out stormtroopers while unarmed, or knocking Tapusk and all of his men with ease. A speaker of basic, Jarrus also understood binary and ithereis. Under the Bendu's tutelage, Kanan learned to suppress his fears and anxieties. Being able to master his fears enabled Kanan to use the Force to convince the spider-like Krikna that he was not hostile. Despite being blinded, Kanan's affinity with the Force allowed him to continue riding his speeder bike while braving an Imperial orbital bombardment.